in my opinion, heaven and hell aren't actual places you go after you die. They are merely states of mind that uh, you can tap into here on Earth. I believe that there is an afterlife, a place where you reunite where, uh, with your lost loved ones, etc. A place where you experience unconditional love and just pure bliss. A place where no suffering is present. The Buddha used to say that life is suffering and that uh, the main cause of suffering is attachments. Attachments in our lives are almost impossible to completely eliminate. Attachments in our lives are almost inevitable unless you decide to go, <laughs> I don't know, you decide to go bald like me and decide to go in the mountains or I don't know. Attachments in our lives uh, are almost impossible to completely avoid uh, unless you decide to go, I don't know, live uh, secluded, alone, yourself in the mountains or decide to go uh, live as a monk somewhere in India or in Nepal, you know, uh, near the uh, Himalayan mountains, who knows? <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's kind of hard uh, in uh, today's society to uh, to completely get rid of suffering. But what, what really does help though is uh, meditation. It really helps to, uh, to reduce some of that suffering, for sure. And the attachment to other is basically rooted in uh, duality. That's why I believe that when we die, our souls or uh, our spirits basically merge us back with source consciousness, thus making duality non-existent and basically uh, making suffering non-existent. I don't believe in hell, but I definitely believe in karma. What about the kids who grew up into monsters, murderers, thieves, uh, because of really bad parenting or extreme neglect during their own childhood. Are they going to spend eternity in hell just because they became uh, basically their environment's products? Well, I personally don't think so. I personally think that it's a lot more likely that, you know what, karma exists and because of uh, some of the bad deeds they may have done, well, you know what, they may... Uh, just have to come back here on Earth having to learn some of those old lessons they haven't learned yet. Basically reincarnate into a new shell, uh, learning and learning and learning until you actually, you know, go through that lesson and become better. So instead of being doomed for eternity for some past mistake, at least there's, you know, some room for redemption. <laughs> And that's why I think that the Buddhist view on it really makes a lot of sense. I believe more in a uh, all-loving universe, an all-loving God, uh, which basically made us uh, perfect through our own imperfections. I never was really like a, a big fan of uh, organized religions uh, in general, uh, just because I al I've always felt that uh, you know, some uh, some people in power in those organizations decided to kind of corrupt those organizations to their liking and basically trying to force their own belief onto the people and people just blindly accepting whatever belief somebody else wants them to believe. While I believe that every religion has uh, at their core uh, really good intentions and everything, I believe that like anywhere, any places, uh, there's always good and bad people in there. And I was raised a Catholic. I still believe that uh, Jesus in the past uh, was here to deliver a message to the world. A message of love, truth, and kindness to everybody else around. Basically showing humanity the kind of person you can actually be when you fully embody uh, what's called Christ consciousness. A state of mind of just 
pure connectedness, no division, just love and unity. Anyways, so in conclusion, heaven and hell for me are just concepts. They're just uh, mental states of being that you can actually embody here on earth. Heaven could be uh, feeling whole and complete within yourself, having uh, your dreams fulfilled, or you uh, actually being in the process of accomplishing those dreams. Yeah, just being happy and grateful with life with whatever that person already has. For me, that would be heaven. And hell could be, let's say, you have a drug addict that needs to, you know, uh, inject himself all the time and basically had to, unfortunately, uh, because of his addiction, basically lose everything around him, right? Lose his family, lose his job, lose everything. Yeah, lo basically losing family and friends, basically uh, hitting rock bottom. That would be hell. Anyways, uh, all of this video basically was just me sharing my thoughts and opinions on this. Uh, I could be wrong, I could be right, everything is possible, that's just my opinion. Uh, everybody is entitled to their own beliefs. I do not judge whatever you believe, uh, what your beliefs are. I'm just opening up the discussion. I think we all have different pieces of the exact same grand puzzle. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. You guys have an absolutely blessed day. And uh, yeah, just sending love and peace to you. Namaste. Eh, Mimi? <laughs>